Swim Bike Run GR, νίκαια, παγκόσμιο πρωτάθλημα 70,3. Μια ακόμα συνέντευξη με έναν θρύλο του τριάθλου. Our guest needs no much introduction. Mark Allen, the seven time world champion, six times Ironman world champion in Hawaii, and the very first ITU world champion in 1981, the inaugural world championship of ITU. Mark, thank you for being here with us today. It's a great honor. Hey, it's great to be here. We're in Nice, France, obviously, for the Ironman 70.3 World Championship. Nice is a very special place for me. I, I, I've, I've raced the Nice International Triathlon here 10 times. I won it 10 times. Don't ask me how I did that. Uh, so, but it's always great to come back here and to be a part of just so many people from all over the world that are coming together. And, and Nice is an amazing place to have a race. You have the, the, the beautiful blue Mediterranean, which you guys also have in Greece, uh, very beautiful water. We have, but you know, then we also have a bike ride, which is one of the classic uh, bike courses anywhere in the world for triathlon, going through the small villages up in the Maritime Alps. And then to have the run back on the Promenade des Anglais, which is kind of like Europe's equivalent of Ali'i Drive in Kona. You know, it's like this epic, iconic place where so many great triathlon battles have happened. Great. And uh, um, how does it feel to be in Nice, where you have been the king of Nice? A <laughs> course very old, a race very old, I think dates back to 1982. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, not race. Um, wouldn't you like to jump on your bike and race uh, the course with the age groupers, if not with the elite athletes? <laughs> you know, I, I, I raced professionally for 15 years and I feel like I really pushed my body hard and I achieved so many things. And so now for me, personally, it's great to just be involved with the sport, coaching, markallencoaching.com, helping a lot of athletes with my experience to get them to these races, to have great experiences, to have great races. And so I'm still a part of the sport in a, in a way that I really love. I still exercise, you know, I love to stay fit. I do a lot of surfing now, I, I still run, I ride my bike, I do some strength training. But as far as racing, for me, the, the real passion is to have my experience help other people to have great races. So we cannot hope that we will see you racing again as an age group at Incona sometime. <laughs> Perhaps that would be a, a dream come true for all of us, to see you in Kona. Yeah, I think it would not be so impressive for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure we would, but I, I probably think you are very modest. Um, tell me uh, something else. You won Kona five times in a row between 1989 to 1993. Mm -hmm. Then you took a break for a year and went back to win one more time, the sixth and final time in 1995. Five. Um, why did you take a break in 1994? Uh, was there a reason? Was there a, a family reason? Was there something you needed a break maybe at that time? Yeah, there, there were two big reasons. One of them was that I was, I, you know, from 89 through 93, I won five Ironman titles in a row. That, that took a lot of training, a lot of energy, and I was tired. Also, we had the birth of our son, Matt, uh, who's now 25 years old. He's actually racing here this weekend. Wow, really? Yeah, and, uh, but anyway, so he was born that year, and I just wanted to have more time to be a father and to have a family, and then by the end of that year, I was ready to come back one more time the following year in 1995. Excellent, excellent. How does it feel to, to be here and see your son racing? Uh, um, I, I, I presume you're coaching your own son. Right. Well, as much as a father can coach their own son, yeah. He, I see. I, <laughs> you know, he's he's 25. He's a millennial. He likes to do a lot of different sports, and so he, he actually qualified uh, in at Ironman 70.3 in Sri Lanka back in the winter, okay. and decided to come here just so that he could he could race in this place that was such a big part of my career. Uh, but he's doing it for fun, you know, and he's just wanting, hoping to, you know, have a have a good race, cross the finish line, and to experience triathlon and Nice experience riding through the Maritime Alps, swimming in the Mediterranean and, and running along Promenade des Anglais. Great, great, great. Um, one more question. Um, it took you years to finally win the crown in uh, Kona. You went back again and again, but you never gave up. So 1989, 
your, it was your time and it was an unforgettable battle between you and, and Mark Scott, the, um, sorry, sorry, Dave Scott. Dave Scott. Um, the Iron War, everybody knows about this race, everybody remembers uh, about this race. I've seen you um, giving interviews about that day and, mm -hmm. and how you found the strength in the last kilometers to, to overtake um, Dave and, and go uh, on. Was that the biggest moment uh, in, in your career or there were many more uh, important moments later on? That, that was one of probably two of the biggest moments. The other big moment was the final Ironman that I won in 1995. Because, you know, the first win was amazing because it took seven years to get there. And then the last win was so amazing because it was such a difficult race to win. I was 13 and a half minutes behind the leader, Thomas Hellriegel, coming off of the bike. And so that was a huge gap to close. But the, back to 1989, Dave Scott and I are actually we're, we're writing 10 stories together that, that, that are telling about the year that led up to uh, that race and what each of us had to do to get ready to have that amazing battle together. And so you can read those stories. We've posted three of them already. It's on a website called 1989thestory.com. So check that out. We're posting them all the way through Kona this year. Great. It's going to be a, a great, great. Uh, legacy about how our, our race came about. Great, I will. Another thing, since you mentioned the race in 1995, uh, you won the race. Thomas uh, Herrigel started the, the, the run ahead of you about 13 minutes. I remember because I've seen the coverage of NBC um, and the commentator says, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, either Mark Allen is going to come as a leader back in Ali Drive or he's going to come <laughs> on a stretcher in an ambulance so he gave no other chance you are either gonna win or you know uh, take it till uh, the last breath you, yeah. could, uh, you could give on the, on the course <laughs> well this is how you race for, fortunately I, I came in on, on my feet winning the race uh, you know it was very difficult I didn't catch Thomas Hellriegel until uh, a, about five kilometers from the finish and so I was I was chasing him for over six and a half hours, you know, throughout the day, and it was, it was really hard to just keep it together and to stay on it and to just keep going and keep going. And that, that's a whole story that, that we could spend hours Absolutely. telling. Absolutely. Um, a couple of more questions. Who would uh, you pick as a winner for Saturday for the women's race and uh, for Sunday for the men's race? Yeah. For the women, I think, uh, you know, coming out of the water, Lucy Childs will be first, but that probably Daniela Reef is going to be the woman to beat. She's won this race a number of times. She, she looks so strong and fit. For the men, I think it's, it, there's, there's more guys. It's not so clear cut. You know, Patrick Langa, Ironman champ, world record holder from last year. He's racing. He's really good at descending. This is a great course for him. Super fast at running. Obviously, that's going to be important. Uh, Rudy Von Berg, who is a local guy, he knows this course, he also is incredible at descending and I think he's really fired up, he would like to win it. Alistair Brownlee, double gold medalist, he's doing this race. He had a, a pretty darn good race in South Africa last year at the Worlds. Uh, he'll be tough and then obviously Javier Gomez. Uh, I don't know who's going to win the men's race, I, I'm, I'm excited to just watch. Lovely. Last question. Give us your prediction for Kona, the race that comes about a month from now. Well, I think for the women, it's going to be a battle, Lucy Charles, Daniela Reef, And for the men, it's going to be battle, Jan Frodeno and, and, and Patrick Lange. Fair enough. Thank you so much for your time. It's been a great honor to have you with us here at Swim, Bike, Run, GR. Um, make a wish, please, for the Greek uh, uh, athletes, triathletes who take part in the race. 18 uh, participants from Greece, more than any other year before. Wow. Well, good luck. It, it's, it's great to know that the triathlon is alive and growing in Greece. I've, I've spent a lot of time in Crete, actually. I, I, love, I love the area. Uh, I love the Greek people. I love the food. And uh, so anyway, uh, have a great race out there. Thank you so much. Ironman Brand is for the first time in Greece first race was held last year in Peloponnese. Uh -huh. um, this is going to be uh, soon, it's going to be in, uh, in uh, the same place, the second uh, race. We hope to see you one day in uh, Greece. 
and I'm sure that everybody would be delighted to meet a legend like you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. We'll see you there.